Good evening, everybody. It's Zechariah from Running for Heroes. Sounds like tonight we're doing two more miles and our two fallen first responders who both lost their life in the line of duty. And our first one tonight is our fallen deputy, Jonathan Randall Kolsky. He worked with the Cobb County Sheriff's Office in Georgia and his end of watch was September 8th of 2022 and lost life after he and another deputy was shot and killed while responding to a felony theft uh, warrant. He was 42 years old at the time of his passing, and even though we did not know how long he served, we didn't know he was a U.S. Army veteran, at least behind a wife, and other loving family members. Tonight, I'll be running with the blue line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track at my school, which is the equivalent of a mile in his honor. And I'll be joining some many first responders, supporters, and my whole family joining us in this mile. Before the run starts, I am going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and the part of the hard time Mary going through, and then I'll be on my way. Tune in tonight. Tonight, Zach Rye running his first two miles to honor two heroes recently lost in the line of duty. This first mile tonight in honor of fallen deputy Jonathan Randall Koleski. He worked with the Cobb County Sheriff's Office in Georgia. His end of watch, September the 8th, 2022. Tragically, he lost his life after he and another deputy were shot and killed while serving a felony theft warrant. He was just 42 years old at the time of his passing. And while we do not know his length of service, we do know that he also served his nation as a U.S. Army veteran. Sadly, he leaves behind a wife, as well as other loving family members. Zachary completing his first of seven laps, which is one mile tonight, to honor fallen deputy Jonathan Randall Koleski. We're always appreciative of the various first responders and supporters that continually come out to help honor our fallen heroes tonight, helping to honor fallen Deputy Jonathan Randall Koleski. We have multiple members of our home county, the Simmel County Sheriff's Office, as well as the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation. Running with Zachariah, we have a member of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Playing pipes tonight, we have a member of the Mount Dora Police Department Honor Guard Band as well. And once again, we're here tonight to pay tribute to a fallen hero, not only to his community, but to his country. Fallen Deputy Jonathan Randall Koleski of the Cobb County Sheriff's Office in Georgia, who tragically on September the 8th, 2022, was shot and killed while he and another deputy were serving a felony theft warrant. Sadly, a fellow deputy also passed away in this incident. 42 years old, once again, also served his country as a U.S. Army veteran and leaves behind a wife and other loving family members. Zachary now completing his second lap to honor Deputy Koleski here tonight. For every mile Zachariah completes, he carries a unique flag, and each flag is sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor. Tonight, Zachariah carrying the blue line flag. This flag will begin to work its way to the family of fallen deputy Jonathan Randall Koleski, along with the note that Zachariah wrote earlier in the day. If you'd like information on how you can be a part of this mission, visit running the number four heroes.org. We'll also post a follow up post a little bit later in the evening with details on how you can be a part of running for heroes. As Zachariah completes lap number three, and gets ready to begin lap number four. I'm gonna go silent. I'm gonna remain silent for the remaining four laps as we reflect on the life of this hero tonight, fallen deputy Jonathan Randall Koleski. We extend our thoughts and our prayers to his family, especially his wife, as well as his agency, having to mourn the loss of not one, but two heroes from the same incident. We thank deputy Koleski for his service. We hope this run honors him well and that he's never forgotten.
Zachary, any final words tonight for the family of fallen deputy Jonathan Randall Koleski? To the whole family of fallen deputy Jonathan Randall Koleski, everybody at the Cobb County Sheriff's Office in Georgia, whom he worked for along with the other deputy that unfortunately lost their life in this incident, along with his wife and other loving family members, I hope all of you heal very soon through the passing of your loved one. I pray this run shows that people in Florida and throughout the whole entire country will be supporting the loss you are going through. And I pray this also shows um, as a rem memory that uh, of the life he served, the accomplishments he made during his life. Um, and even though he lost his life, he still will be forever remembered throughout the whole entire nation. If you are part of the family, I'll be sending you a Spillane flag. I remember to sign your heroes on it very soon. Along the handwritten note I've already written, that is ready to, ready to be sent out in your hero's name. Um, I do want to mention real quick as well, Deputy Koleski and the other first responder fought till their absolute final moments. Um, you can look up what happened if you want to, but even in the final moments, Deputy Koleski and the other deputy gave it their all. And even to their final second before they were, they were unfortunately shot, they made sure that they did the best they could to protect others around the neighborhood that they were in. If all of you now like join us in a quick 21 second moment of silence, just like the 21 gun salute to each second day, Kenny, one amazing thing, Deputy Koleski, during his life, including as a first responder in his community, and following that would be a prayer. So if all of you now please bow our heads and join us in this 21 seconds, please do at this time.
dear God. Unfortunately, here tonight we're in for a fallen deputy, fallen deputy Koleski from the Cobb County Sheriff's Office in Georgia. He and another deputy lost their life due to a very unfortunate shooting incident that came out of nowhere while they were um, attempting to arrest somebody else. God, I pray you watch over this whole community through the loss they are facing and everybody else who unfortunately had to deal with this incident. Um, and I pray that you guide anybody going through a hard time, including Deputy Koleski's family and all of his friends to this run site so they can also find comfort. Thank you again, God, and Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. We appreciate all of you joining us in this one run. Unfortunately, last mile is for the other fallen Cobb County Sheriff's Office deputy who lost her life in this incident. We hope all of you have a great and safe night, especially if you're a first responder working tonight. And I pray God blesses you all.